You know what my problem is? Carcassonne is too damn good. All right, and this is why. I like to consider myself a competitive and casual player. We're talking tabletop games and video games alike. I have the competitive side of me where I feel that I'm good enough at a game to be better than the average player. And so when I lose at whatever game it is you want to put out there, I'm not going to say anything. When I lose, I do get upset. I may get a little salty. I may even cry a little bit if it's that bad, but I move on and I play another game. Then I have the casual side of me where when I get together with friends, online or offline, uh, and I lose to them, I'm like, okay, that's fine. I had fun. It's visually pleasing to play this game and, and fun and, and hilarious to play this game with you. I, I enjoy the time that I spend with you playing this game because to me, it appeals to my casual side. But with Carcassonne, interestingly enough, this appeals to both my competitive and casual side at the same time. Ah! When someone asks me, hey, do you want to play a game where you put down tiles and then you use trains to deliver the, uh, deliver goods to other tiles? Sure, that sounds very casual of, of you and me to do that. Hey, look at these. The trains are cute. Hey, look at the tiles. They're cute too. Okay, all right. Oh, they're cute little blocks for to, to deliver. That's cool. Let's do it. And then there are other games that are more competitive, like Four Gods, where someone could say, Hey, would you like to play a tile laying game where we all play at the same time and then we screw each other over, we say F you, and then we put down uh, action figures, and then we say F you again, and then we put down these secret cards like trap cards, and we say F you again, and you'll never win? Sure. That's, that's fantastic as well. It's very competitive, very uh, high speed action. Yeah, let's do it, man. But the problem is... Carcassonne has this beautiful balance between competitive and casual play. You could be the biggest noob you know, and you'll still have fun playing this. You could be the most hardcore jackass who thinks they can beat everybody, and even if you do, you'll have fun playing this game. So now whenever I go, look f go to look for a tile lane board game, I think to myself, okay, on a scale between zero and Carcassonne, I know that's not how you say it. What is it? Is it close enough to Carcassonne to buy or is it close enough to zero to just say, eh, I'd really play Carcassonne? I don't know. And that's my problem.